Howdy, y'all. Tomorrow I will be serving as the Toastmaster for my local Toastmasters club. So what that means is I will be the head of the club and I will lay out the structure. I will provide the theme for the day which is going to be nature and stillness. And I will also announce each role on the agenda and will explain to each member or guest if there's any confusion uh, what's going on exactly. Tomorrow's theme is going to be on nature and stillness and the benefits associated with observing each. Here's some insight on nature to get us started. It is said that all successful people have many similar habits. One of those is breaking away from the city life and spending a little time in nature when the opportunity arises. Napoleon Hill the writer of Think and Grow Rich has stated in his book that there is no substitute for nature stimulants. Where fine and rare thoughts form in the great unknown. This is where he and many other successful people gain insight inspiration, and spark their creativity. Spending time observing the natural world within plants, trees, flowers, and animals has proven to boost vitality within all humans. More energy, clear-mindedness, focus, and a sense of divine peace are all benefits associated with taking a little time to be in nature on a regular basis. What a wonder nature is. It amazes me every single day. Next, Let's go over some of the roles for the day on our agenda. Next, I would like to introduce our joke master, word of the day, dinger, and our counter. Those are two roles combined. Grammarian, timekeeper, camera operator, and vote counter which following we will get into the evaluator of our speech of our first speech which will be Mitch and he will introduce Jackie Liberto's speech okay so after we follow our speech after we hear our speech rather I would do a call for love notes. Just some comments and some inspirational things for our speaker, Jackie Liberto. Next, I will call for the timer's report and vote for the best speaker. And after that, I will introduce our table topics. But before I introduce the table topics, I would like to share some moments of insight on stillness with everyone today. Each day, we run around frantically from task to task. With so many things to do and not enough time in the day to do them all. Or so it seems. This creates so much stress within us. 
and the quality with which we perform tasks, communicate with others, or even relax, can decline. This is when observing stillness or quietness and carrying it within us as we perform each task can come in so very handy. Have you ever heard the quote, Be still and know that I am God? It is very powerful and it leads to a deeper truth if you follow it. Just taking even 15 minutes to be still and observe quietness each day can pinpoint and lead us on this adventure of intelligence that is revealed in the still moments. When I went through the most difficult time in my life, it is in the stillness that I found peace, hope, and an amazing love which, which revitalized me and turned my worry into adventure. Stillness reveals the secrets of, etern of eternity and the wonder of life. With that said, let's continue with our agenda for the day. Next, I would like to introduce Richard LaCava as our head of Table Topics. And after that, he... We will jump right into our evaluation of the speech, and that will be Mitch uh, Kirkpatrick. Then we have our 90-second education from John, following which we will have our reports for Word of the Day, Our Counter, and Grammarian. Next, we will present the Vote Awards. They will be our, basically our table topics. And next we'll have Dylan to give us our general evaluation. After which I will make a call for kudos. And after the kudos, I will hand it back to our president. I look forward to giving a little bit of insight on, on Nature and stillness peppered in between all of our agenda speeches and roles tomorrow. And I think it's going to be a great meeting. I look forward to it. I may record it just to share it with you guys, but uh, if y'all are interested in doing Toastmasters, you should totally do it. It's definitely a ride. It's fun. It's challenging. It's hard sometimes. But it never fails to be rewarding. And it has helped me so much to connect with those around me. To become a better listener every time. And to be a more genuine person in general. Thank you guys for tuning in. And listening to my overview of the Toastmaster role. Thank you guys.